Ladies and gentlemen, this is a YouTube show in which you are brought Slot Machine Sunday, Money Cards Monday, Tic Tac Tuesday, Whammy Media Wednesday, Thundercracker Thursday, and Flinging Dice Friday and Saturday Super Starcade. Also, wrestling news from Raw, NXT 2.0, AEW Dynamite, NXT UK, Impact Wrestling, SmackDown and 205 Live, and AEW Rampage, and special episodes from Rodin' Up, Cyber Swaggin, and the Philosophies of Lima Cleese. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube show of fun, of knowledge, strategy, luck, and daring. And mental shenanigans. This is WEML TV channel 77. And now here's the host of the show live from New Bedford, Massachusetts. It is none other than Eric M. Lima. Uh, thank you, Mr. Wonderful Announcer, sir. Hello, this. Hello. This uh, friendly neighborhood uh, um, channel vlog show is brought to, you, brought to you by your friendly neighborhood. But sweet bumbling Boba Raver, that means I appear on, on the following show. I have made an appearance on the following shows, at least one episode of the StreamYard community. That would be the Bumbling Bobo's Bo Variety Program, um, Uriel Ibarra, uh, Dave, Dave St. Dennis, Psycho Mike Wilson, and Jer Jimmy Dimitrick um, host the show. Every Saturday night at 9 on the Ibarra Brothers Studios channel. Check out there. Uh, check out that channel for Bumbling Bozo's Variety Program. And both of us, and I have appeared also on both of us in the sofas as well. Um, Garrison Newkirk, Jerome Latimer, and the Putnam Brothers, Alex and Austin, host that show every Monday, na every Monday in the afternoon at 5. And I'm um, one of five, uh, five uh, co hosting panelists. Of the Rant and Raid podcast every Thursday night at 8, starring the co-founders and co-creators of the show, Brandon Martin, Jordan Little, and also Uriel Ibarra, Michael Bobardier, and yours truly. And I'm also one of four panelists from the uh, Too Sweet Wrestling podcast, hosted by jo Joseph Kumia Jr., Jordan Little, uh, Zach Zuniga, and yours truly as well. Every Tuesday night we do a live reaction of NXT, and... Uh, Live reaction of NXT. Also, um, also, uh, we do uh, every other other Saturday night at eight on the Elite JC TV channel. And I'm also the five time, five time, five time Bumbling Bozos Bozy Awards nominee. In 2021, this show could be a nominee in 2022. Who knows for sure? For therefore, my name is Eric Lemer, and you are watching. WEML TV Channel 77, episode 1163, April 23rd, 2022, 1.43 p.m. I am officially on vacation. Alrighty then, that's something that we, uh, that is something that we, uh, that we, uh, uh that I've been, this is my last final vacation of the fiscal year. So that's another thing that we, uh, but there's only one major obstacle left throughout the rest of the year, uh, the rest of this calendar year, would be the major, um, de-letting of the house. Um, as you know, um, as, and once the de-letting of the house starts, unfortunately I will not be on here as much because the government, because the stupid state wants us out of the house while the house is being de-letted, even though my cellar, my room is not affected buy the whole thing and if I if they if they give me a chance they say hey you know since he, he can live down there if you want if he wants to and if the state allows it then that's fine I'll still keep going to my th uh, doing my thing but unfortunately until that uh, uh, un until they allowed it I won't be able to uh, come on here as much and that's why I have uh, going to step out for two to three weeks off the internet I want to try to do something different though as far as you know, the YouTubing, but I can't do any. I can't do the regular stuff that I usually do. I will get Wi-Fi on my phone. That's the only thing. Because unfortunately, I don't have. If I had a computer laptop, it would have been a whole different story. But unfortunately, might I digress? It'll be two to three weeks, and then after the two to three weeks are done, the rest of the stuff is going to go up to the new room. I'm going to straighten everything out. And once I straighten everything out, that's when the new season begins 
of my channel vlog show that will be known as uh, Eric Lee Machine Hannigans in 1977. I, I, I advise you to be looking forward to it and be patient. Bear with me here. You know, like I said, this is uh, the situation out of my control, unfortunately. Um, but uh, but you know what, though? Sometimes you get knocked down, get up again, and never get knocked down. All right, so that's gonna be something to uh, be dealing. With. I'll be dealing with that, as you know. Like I said, most of my stuff has been cleared out. I mean, I mean, at the beginning of the year, we had all sorts of junk, and now, and now uh, we're into April, and uh, yeah, April's almost over. We got one more week left of April, and that's the last, final week I'm taking a vacation for the work fiscal year for me. So it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens between now, between now and uh, till the summertime. And I've heard that the Teenage Mutant Ninja, Tur Ninja Turtles: Shredder's Revenge is coming out during the summer, so I can't. I personally cannot wait for that. So, uh, so uh, let's uh, let's talk about uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, SmackDown and NXT Level Up, as you know. Um, and uh, uh, like I said, uh, WrestleMania Backlash is what next um, a week from this Sunday. Adam Pearce um, oversees the uh, SmackDown Women's Championship contract signed between Charlotte Flair and R the champion and Ronda Rousey, the challenger, for the I Quit match. Gee, I wonder what would happen would go wrong then. And then he says he's looking for the contract. Drew Gulak is now Adam Pearce's new assistant. Since, since uh, I think it's because Sonya Deville decided to abuse her power and decided to get herself a title shot against Miss Bianca Belair. But then, uh, as uh, Charlotte Flair signed the contract, Ronda's about to sign it, and Charlotte Flair turns the table over, tries to attack Ronda Rousey, and she had a kendo stick, started attacking Rousey before she signed the, Rousey signed the contract, and then they fight with the, in, with the kendo stick, and Rousey decides to uh, put Drew Gulak in an arm bar, and while she has Gulak in an arm bar, Rousey signs the contract. Poor Drew Gulak. I feel bad for him, man. All right, so, so, so that, so there's that. Xavier Woods went up against Butch, aka Pete Dunne. Heck of a fight, really. But Xavier Woods ends up winning the matchup, and Butch, Butch decides to escape. What is Butch doing? Is is he going crazy here? I mean, he's got. I know as Pete Dunne's got quite the reputation in the UK, but I'll tell you one thing. I think he's like. Uh, to me, is Butch with. Butch is like Pete Dern done with the with the volume turn all the way up. Might I digress? And then uh, Aaliyah was talking to um, Ricochet about how good Ricochet is as an Intercontinental Champion. She asked him how he keeps doing it. He says, "This is what the title's meant for. I'm one of the greatest superstars in the ring. Um, wear this title, and uh, I aim to be one of the best." And then Jim Mahal goes, oh, "You old tight gray, huh? You want you to defend the title? Fine, I'll take you on and anybody else." And Shanky goes, "Face me." And Jinder Mahal's like, what are you doing? Dude, this is... Sh Shanky's got himself an opportunity at the Intercontinental title here. Because that's happening next week. And Shanky's near seven feet tall. And you can't teach that. That's another for another guy. Anyways. So Lud uh, Ludwig Kaiser introduces Gunta to uh, Albany, New York. Uh, that's where SmackDown took place. And Gunter took on Teddy Goods, a local wrestler f uh, from... Uh, no, he's not originally from New York. He's from New Bedford, actually. I've seen him wrestle for Top Pro Promotions a couple of times, aligning himself up with uh, Biff Busick, a.k.a. Orny Lurkin. But Teddy Goods has the unenviable task to um, try to take on Gunter. Good luck with that, and uh, Gunter did beat Teddy Goods. And I'll tell you one thing. I got if I, if I run into Teddy Goods, over, I know he's a, also a part owner of a, a toy store known as Cujo's Toy World here in New Bedford. Well, I want to try and make a visit there. If I, I run into him and say, hey, I say, dude, how was it like getting chopped by Gunter? Man, Gunter shots, man, so loud, like a gun going off. Jeepers. I was like, dude, you, you know, hope you didn't get sunburned before that match. I feel bad for Teddy Goods. But Teddy Goods, you know, he made it in the WWE. A lot of people are very happy for him. Hey, it's cool. You know, it's cool when a local wrestler makes it in the WWE. Very happy about that. But unfortunately, Gunter. You run into Gunter, you know. Run into Gunther. You're liable to get you turn your chest to hamburger meat. So, too bad Teddy Goods, but I'm sure Teddy Goods will be all right. You know, he's probably been through worse, knowing him. RK Bro, we're talking about uh, SmackDown being here, and then all of a sudden Drew McIntyre interrupts them, and then Orton says, 
you know what? We're good. Because um, Drew McIntyre was champion. Orton was targeting him. So. And uh, Matt Riddle seems to be having a problem with him. And Sami Zayn was listening on the convo. I'm like, what is that troublemaker Sami Zayn up to now? And uh, Zaya Lee says she um, lost herself as a protector. But now she vows to protect herself. She's on her own. Hey, good for Zia Lee. I think Zia Lee is going to be more of a, a killer instinct um, protecting herself. Jay Uso went one on one with Riddle, and it was a heck of a matchup. And Riddle ended up winning. Riddle beat both Usos in one week, out in each a singles matchup, which is really, really big for RK Bro. Kayla Braxton was in the ring interviewing Sasha Banks and Naomi, the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. Says, no, we have no competition. Here comes Natalia and Shayna Baszler. And Natalia. Good Lord have mercy. I looked at Natalia in her outfit. And I'm like, Tyson Kidd is a lucky dude. Let me tell you. Anyways, and confronted Banks and Naomi. says, hey, we'll be your next challengers. And then uh, Mad Cat Matt Moss was talking in, uh, to somebody. I don't know who. But he was, um, Corbin, Baron Corbin came, uh, Happy Corbin came and said, hey, let's bygones, be bygones, we'll be friends again, you know. Tell me a good joke, and then he, and he responded with a joke and started laughing. And Rod Raquel Rodriguez got a promo, and she'll make her in-ring debut next week on SmackDown. Can't wait to see what she can do. Mad Cat Moss uh, took on Angel Garza of Los Latarios one-on-one, and Moss did pick up the victory with the punchline. And then Baron Cor Happy Corbin attacks Moss and then steals the trophy. Uh, steal uh, the Andre the John Memorial uh, trophy. And you know what, though? Technically, he did. Baron Corbin did win that trophy in his debut match at WrestleMania. And then Sami Zayn was about to knock on Roman Reigns' door. The locker room. Sami Zayn does not realize that Roman Reigns is in a foul mood after Jay Uso lost the riddle. And then. And then Roman Reigns is like, right, you guys lost to Riddle. What's going on? What is up? We tried to get him. We'll ne next time. We got a chance to win the belts. We got a chance. And all that. And then Paul Heyman says, someone's up here to visit you. And Sami Zayn is trying to talk to the bloodline and wants to help the bloodline out. What is Sami Zayn up to? What kind of shenanigans is... I call him uh, uh, Sami Shenanigans. That's his new nickname. Sami Shenanigans. This guy's up to something talking about you know people insulting him and all that and he looks at the Usos to make sure to keep my name out of their mouths Lacey Evans with a third promo on you know about her life and you know how she grew up to you know put on makeup by, by herself look how beautiful she is and you know and she worked very hard she got a little emotional but anyways so Lacey Evans when she comes back to the ring she'll be stronger than ever and uh, believe me no one will want to mess with Lacey Evans and then the uh, Lumberjack match uh, was the main event. Drew McIntyre, Sami Zayn. It all ended up in a no contest because the Usos attacked RK Bro and the, Bro, and then the Lumberjacks started brawling. Tr Zemi tries to run from Adam Pierce. One, I mean not Adam Pierce, McIntyre. Adam Pierce fed up with Sami Zayn's running. He says, "You know what? Next week the match is going to be you and McIntyre, but this time you're not escaping the steel cage." And then, afterwards, Jinder Mahal and, and Shanky attack uh, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre fights back, ends up win winning in the end. And he glares at Sami Zayn running away through a crowd once again. Dude, Sa Sami Zayn's a scared cat. I thought Michael, uh, I thought Michael Jacob. I was going to Michael Jacob. Uh, Maxwell Jacob Freeman, MJF, is scared. Well, Idris and Nofi and Malik Blade took on the new team of Quincy Elliott and Demar uh, Damaris Griffin. And the more experienced, and a little bit more experienced, Andrew Sanofi and Malik Blade did pick up the victory over Quincy, Big Quincy Elliott, and Damaris Griffin. I look at Quincy Elliott, and he almost looks like uh, his outfit almost like make Mabel's with Men on a Mission. Remember him? God bless Mabel's soul. Fallon Henley, the ally of Josh Briggs and Brooks Jensen, took on Thea Hale, and uh, Thea Hale did win. I think Thea Hale should be Nikki A.S. as his tag team partner or something like that. So. But anyways, Henley did pick up the victory over Thea Hale. Dante Chen took on the Andre Chase University's uh, prize student, Mr. Bodie Haywood, with Andre Chase in his corner. 
And it was a heck of a matchup, but Bodie Hayward did win the match. So that's where it ends here. So that's all the time we have on the show. Episode 1163 of WEML TV Channel 77. On the next episode, I will give you the AEW uh, Rampage Event Center for August, April the 21st, 2022. So the SmackDown NXT, UK, uh, NXT Level Up Event Center for for April the 21st, 2022 is come to an end. Peace in your lives, loving your lives, and blessings from the Lord Jesus Christ from Him above to me and from me to you. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace and enjoy. <laughs>